So I like these types of videos because I learn from my mistakes. So these are things you should know before you go to Switzerland. is language and me being American I grew up only speaking English I took Spanish I know enough to get by in like Spanish speaking countries but I never took French I never took German I never took Italian when I was thinking of going to Europe I was kind of just assuming that people over there they spoke English Switzerland was the first and so far only place that I've had trouble speaking to people as soon as we got off the plane we got a taxi to our first hotel and we had trouble immediately communicating pretty much everyone spoke German there not a whole lot of French not a whole lot of Italian not a whole lot of Spanish um, it was mostly all German I don't know maybe it's just because I'm American but I feel like English is the universal language now. That was just my ignorance. So if you are going there, make sure you know more than English. <laughs> so my husband and I were in Switzerland for about 10 days. So that included weekends, obviously. So when we were driving around Thune on Sunday and it was time to eat, we realized, why is everything closed? <laughs> Unless you went to like the tourist areas, there weren't any restaurants. The grocery stores were closed. Very hard to find food. The only place that we found food that was like not in the tourist area was like this Thai place and we went in and sat down, looked at the menu and it was like $30 for white rice and chicken. So we ended up driving around. Luckily we found like this really tiny convenience store in a neighborhood and we were able to get some like bananas and hot dogs and that ended up being our one and only meal that day because grocery stores were all closed. Gas stations like the gas pumps, obviously you could play you could pay with your card, but you couldn't like go in and buy any snacks. So that was really, really odd for us. It was something that we were not expecting. Not only was food difficult to find on Sunday, everything was like slowed down and it was so mellow. Like you would sit down and you would absolutely just take your time. Pretty much every single time we went out to eat, we would have to wait for our check like 30 minutes after eating. And that's just not normal for us. Like we go somewhere and we're in and out within an hour because you know, people are like shoving you out. I feel like they're always like rushing or have you ever sat down somewhere and they start clearing the table and you're like, I'm still eating. Like I'll be chewing my food. And yes, my plate is empty, but maybe there's sauce on it and bread and I wanna like clean it up with bread, you know? And they take my plate and like, I'm not done with that. In Switzerland, we did not have that problem. Our problem at restaurants were literally like, okay, when are we getting our check? Where did our person go? Which isn't a bad thing, but just know if you go there and you're going out for a quick meal, you're probably gonna be there a couple hours because there's no rush, which is so nice, so nice. So majority of the places that we've been, cards, like credit cards has been, you know, no problem to use. You can use it everywhere. Pretty much, I mean, not obviously like on the Inca Trail or in the middle of nowhere of Iceland, but for the most part, you can use your card. In all the places that we've been so far, Switzerland has been the place that you need cash just for a meal. So we went to Switzerland in May? Yes, we went to Switzerland in May, and that's considered the shoulder season. It's not the tour season, it's, it's right after winter, right before summer, and prices were considered cheaper. It wasn't cheap, but it was cheaper. So I usually like to go during the shoulder season just because it's, in my opinion, better. But um, like when we went to Iceland during the shoulder season, we had an amazing time. But it is so different from the shoulder season in Switzerland. Like you especially saw why it was the shoulder season when going to Zermatt. When you think of Zermatt, you think of a ski resort. You think of a cute little village and it's all like the businesses are all booming there's so much to do there and it's so clean it's so pretty it's a tourist place you know it's Zermatt it's the Matterhorn but when we went there it was the shoulder season and there was construction everywhere so many stores were closed it was all it was really sad almost like there wasn't a whole lot to do a lot of trails were 
still like de-thawing so we couldn't hike that much but then the snow was also melting so you could ski there was like two bunny slopes open that would still cost like four hundred dollars so some places the shoulder season is definitely worth it like iceland for example but would i go back to switzerland in may so this kind of applies to everywhere that you go, but the like hotels and restaurants are going to be more expensive than if you stay on the outskirts. Same applies to Switzerland. Um, Interlaken is a very big popular place to go, and we stayed literally like 10 minutes away in this adorable town called Greens. And I put a, I have a blog post up on it in the entirety of our trip to Switzerland. Rains was our favorite because when you think of Switzerland, you might think of like cute little log homes and like little sheep running around and like so tiny and cute. That is literally Rains. So if you're going to Switzerland, save some money, don't stay in the city, stay like 10 minutes out and it's going to be like half the price. And then we found that pretty much everywhere that we've been. One thing I was not expecting was to want to order water because it's healthier, it's cheap, it's usually free. Not in Switzerland which is so surprising. The first time that we went to a restaurant, we ordered water, we got a check pack, and it was like $8. I was like, holy crap! Water is more expensive than beer. Just get soda, get juice, don't get water. For some reason, water is so expensive. Definitely bring a water bottle, buy a water bottle, because there's also these really elaborate and beautiful fountains pretty much on every corner. Oh, and, Maybe this is just my personal preference, but I hate seltzer water. I hate bubble water, whatever, like the carbonated water. I think it's so freaking gross. Make sure that you know what kind of water you're ordering because that is a very big thing, carbonated water in Switzerland. I mean, going to Switzerland, a lot of people think about traveling by train. In my experience, traveling by train was the most expensive thing that we spent our money on but we rented a car for like five days and I think it was hundred and seventeen dollars I think it was so much more affordable than taking a train to one destination one way so my last thing that I want to mention Switzerland is just one of those places that it's like traveling back in time we had to use skeleton keys everywhere you pay cash everywhere people were reading newspapers like young people like me when we were on the train like these group of girls these group of girls like my age they weren't on their phone they were sitting there reading a newspaper when was the last time you've ever seen that also pay phones when you see a pay phone in the u.s you're like oh my god Look, a payphone. There was one place that we went to and they had one of those like dial phones, you know, like, oh, I'll, I'll insert a picture right here. But we saw that on the wall and I was like, do you think that works? Or do you think that's for decoration? We didn't go to a lot of hotels. We stayed in a lot of Airbnbs. But when we did go somewhere, we usually had to open the door with a skeleton key. Not a normal key, not a card, a skeleton key. And you never see that in the US. Ever. That was my husband's like chosen souvenir. We went to a hardware store and he was like, I want to get a skeleton key. We ended up going into like the back room where they make the skeleton keys, like normal hardware stores. The employees were like so intrigued by our interest in keys. My husband ended up telling them like, oh, you never see this. This is so unique. And they're like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. And to them, they were just like, oh, we have them for everything. It's so common here. And to us, we're just like, wow. <laughs> yes, it's expensive. The shoulder season may not be worth it. Cars are cheaper than trains. People are so friendly. Speak German. Get ready to like see newspapers and clean streets. And it was just like so beyond different. That's all I have to say. I hope this video was entertaining. It was informative, it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in three days. <laughs> Bye.